Lasers utilize a variety of optical devices. An optical device can be as complex as an articulated arm or as simple as a focusing lens or debris shield. Each optical device serves a specific purpose and is an essential component in the laser's operation. In order for a laser to function properly, prior to a case, the laser technician must inspect and maintain the laser's optical devices to ensure they are clean and in proper alignment. If a laser utilizes an articulated arm, check that the laser's aiming beam is centered on the arm. To check this, turn on the laser. With the aiming beam on and the laser in standby mode, the technician should place a white cap or a piece of paper tape on the distal end of the articulated arm. Wearing the appropriate laser safety eyewear, observe the alignment of the aiming beam as it exits the arm. If the beam is not centered in the arm, first make sure the arm is deployed properly. Then walk the arm around the laser and rotate the knuckles of the arm to see if that corrects the beam's alignment. If the beam's alignment is not affected, test fire the laser with the delivery device that will be used during the case. This will allow you to determine if the laser is safe to use during the case. It's also important that all focusing lenses be clean and free from burns or pitting. When using a Holmium laser, check the blast shield prior to using the laser. The blast shield is typically located proximal to the laser's beam aperture. The blast shield prevents laser energy from being reflected back into the laser's energy source. The blast shield should appear clear and free from any burns or pitting. If the blast shield is burnt or pitted, replace it and dispose the damaged shield into the biohazardous waste. To remove any dust particles or debris from a reflecting mirror or focusing lens, Use several cotton tip applicators along with 100% methyl alcohol, acetone, or a minimum of 70% isopropyl alcohol. Clean using an up and down or side to side motion. Several cotton tip applicators may be needed to effectively clean lenses. While cleaning the optics, wear powder free gloves to avoid touching the lens with bare hands. Bare hands could leave an oily residue on the lens, which could absorb the laser's energy and cause future burns or pitting on the lens. Monitor the laser's optical devices during a case to ensure they remain in good working condition throughout the procedure. If using a laser with an articulated arm, keep the arm stowed until the physician is ready to use the device. After deploying the arm, monitor the space around the arm to prevent it from being bumped and potentially knocked out of alignment. Once the physician has finished using the laser, stow the arm so that it is out of harm's way. After a procedure, inspect the laser's optical devices to ensure they are in the same working condition they were in before the case. The lens should be free from burns and pitting. Decontaminate the external casing of the lens with a germicidal wipe. Clean the lens with a cotton-tipped applicator and high-proof alcohol or acetone. Do not sterilize lenses in a steam autoclave. All laser apertures must be capped to prevent contamination of sensitive internal optics. With the laser's optical devices inspected and cleaned after a case, it is important that they are properly stored. Articulated arms should be stowed and locked into place, and lenses should be stored in a protective case that will guard against contamination or any damage that could potentially occur. This concludes the laser optical management video. Thank you for watching.